What is going on everybody? This is Drydox here, bringing you a Call of Duty Advanced Warfare gameplay. Alright, I'm not going to be doing a Call of Duty Advanced Warfare gameplay. What I will be doing today is a, um, I'm doing a SCUF review, SCUF Gaming Controller review. So pretty much in this video, what I'm going to be doing is explaining to y'all why and how SCUF controllers are almost mandatory in Call of Duty and why you should try to get one, talk your parents into getting you one, something. I, I don't know, but here is my opinion on it, and this is what this video is going to be about and how it works. Okay, so um, anyways, guys, I'm going to get into this gameplay of, um, I'm just playing against bots. I'm not going against, you know, real real humans or nothing like that. But uh, first, I just want to start off with, I got the King Scuff, the Scumpy um, Xbox One Scuff right here, and on the back, it's got two paddles right here. Okay, you got the um, your jump button, which is this on this side right here, which is considered A, and then you have this paddle here, which is considered your lay down button, your uh, stomp, whatever you want to do, whatever you want to call it. This is B. Okay, so B paddle and A paddle. Okay, on this side. So if you're looking at it, it's going to be on your your left hand side right here. So that's your jump button. Okay. Um, the grip on the side, this is all grip, okay, so um, imagine if you like play baseball or something like that, the grip on the the handle of the bat, you know, uh, that's what it kind of feels like in a sense, and it doesn't come with green, it comes with black, but I just changed it out, um, because it kind of got, you know, the grip gets kind of wore out over time, so I kind of uh, switched that out, and it also comes with a, uh, a green cable like this, I think there's other different colors as well, but this is just to play, uh, to play wired through the Xbox One instead of playing wirelessly. Um, just from what I heard, playing wi wirelessly, um, it's like almost like a mil like a point three or so milliseconds or so, it's something like that in that range for the controller wirelessly to respond to the game. So if you're playing wired, it does it automatically. So um, I would recommend having the wired. And plus, you don't have to go through a bunch of batteries and things like that. But um, but yeah, so I'm, I'm gonna bring the camera down right here, and I'm gonna show y'all. It might see me a little bit, but it's all good. Um, let's see, where am I gonna put this at? This, this should be fine right here. Anyways, guys, so I'm gonna show y'all how it pretty much works. So I'm gonna be using the um, I guess I'll be I'll, I'll use the bow. So okay, so a normal player, okay, a normal player will be using you know the A button here. You got the A, B, X, Y. P, you know the PS4 controller is the same exact way. I actually have a, have a PS4 one, PS4 controller here, but it's not a scuff. So you know your A would be your X, right? Your B would be a circle, Y would be triangle, square would be X. Okay, so it just corresponds. Everything's the same, just different patterns, I guess, or different letters and shapes. But anyways, so no no more player, you know, you would run, play the same. I'm not using the paddles, okay? So you would play the same, but you would jump, <coughs> pressing A, right? So you're going to go kill a bot. You want to jump over somebody. You got to take your aim all the way off of the aim stick, all the way off. See how, see how my finger comes off, and you got to then look and aim, okay? As it takes that takes like almost a second just to. Go here. Not even a second, but I mean that little time that you're wasting from going to, from jumping, and then going back, your aim's gonna be thrown off just a little bit. And trust me, guys, I used to play with the regular Xbox controller, and once I finally did get a scuff controller, it was a heck of a lot like smoother and easier. Granted, it takes took me about a week or so to get used to it, but like, okay, so now look, I'm gonna be using the jump button, which is this one right here. Watch. So I hit it. I'm hitting it right now. My guy jumps. Okay. Hit, double hit it, you know, double jump, obviously, it's just like hitting H twice, right? But instead, I'm hitting the paddle, okay, when, whenever I hit the paddle, my, I can still aim using the paddle, okay? Or, not, or I can not aim with the paddle, I can still jump, I, can j I jump with the paddle, and I can still aim by using a dump stick. You see how that works, guys? And, uh, majority of these people watching the video, y'all might already have a scuff, so this might not, you know, refer to y'all, y'all might think it's a stupid video, or whatever it may be, but this is two people who don't have a scuff, and who wants to become a competitive player, and is, you know, new to the scene. So anyways, so instead of, like, jumping and then aiming, it's a lot harder to do that, okay? So, scuff controller, you can jump and aim all at the same time. You don't have to take your finger off the controller at all. It's so much easier. 
Same with uh, if you want to slide. You know, normal players would hit B. Okay, the one people who not, with, who don't have scuffs, you would jump or, or not jump. I mean, you would slide and then do whatever you need to do with the scuff. You can slide <laughs> without taking your your finger off the aim. Okay, so you can slide and still look around. You know, like how I'm doing. I can slide and still look. Take your finger off B. You're not gonna be able to do that. So um, that's the perks of that's what you know several. That's one of the several perks of having a scuff controller. Um, if I had any, like, I guess, negative things to say about a scuff, um, this is my. See, I did, I, I, like, my very first scuff I ever had, the thumbstick right here, okay, it, get, it got jammed. So, like, whenever I look up, like, or not, well, actually, it was this one right here. Whenever I looked up, it would stick a little bit. It would stick, and, like, I would just be looking by, by himself, and it would just throw my aim off. So, I'd be in a gunfight, and I would, like, there's a guy over there, and it would get stuck whenever I tried to go the other way, and it wouldn't uh, go the other way because, you know, it would be stuck. But, um, I heard, I heard, you know, scuff controllers tend to do that every now and then. Um, just from just by them being used a lot, a lot, uh, but I know the, the King's Cup controller I have now, it hasn't done that yet, knock on wood, but um, I don't know, my overall review on it, I would say, it would, like, I love Scuff, you gotta, you, like, I'd really, really recommend having a Scuff, it, it, like, it ups your gameplay, like, 110%, like, definitely, I swear on everything it does, I'm not making this up, y'all can trust me, we, with my opinions on this, guys, I'm telling you, I do recommend getting a scuff. Um, see, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I want to talk about. It obviously you have the grip on it. The grip uh, uh, is pretty, it's pretty um, grippy or whatever you want to call it. You, you know, you can firm the controller really, uh, really well. Other than the other default Xbox One controllers who don't have grip, it's just you know pretty much smooth like this and. Your hand might slide off, or you know whatever it may be, but the grip it keeps your hand here, it makes you have a better grip of the controller. You, you may not think that it helps, guys, but I promise, having the grip here and and making your hand not slide off the controller helps out so much. Um, let's see what else, guys. What else do I want to talk about the scuff controller? I mean, that's pretty much it. I mean, it's just, everything else is pretty much the same as a default Xbox One controller besides the paddles on the back you have your grip here and the design pretty much you know uh, you can also get a scuff with four paddles on the back which I do not recommend that I mean there's no point of having X and Y like you the X and Y button would be like it will be like one like here you can see the outline actually of it one there and then one here okay you don't really need that so therefore you would be doing like here and then using this button, using this button, going back and forth like that. Like there's no like, no. You're you, you don't need to take off your ink, your thumbstick off of. <coughs> you, yeah, you don't need to take your thumb off the thumbstick to hit X or Y and aim it all at the same time. There's really no point. That's mainly for like jumping and uh, knee slide and things like that. But uh, but yeah, guys, I think that's gonna do it for today's video. Um, hope y'all enjoyed this video. I know it's a lot different than my other ones, but I wanted to get a different kind of video out there for those who don't have a scuff and um <clears throat> somebody wanted me to, to do a, re a review on it so that's um that's the main reason why i'm doing it so so this uh again this video is really not for the gameplay it's more about a scuff review and for people who don't have scuffs and do i recommend y'all getting one yes i do recommend y'all getting one it's definitely worth it but uh but yeah i think that's gonna do it for the today's video guys thank y'all so much for watching um, I'm going to be uploading a heck of a lot more. I know I haven't uploaded the past couple of days, but I've been uh, kind of busy with things, real life things and whatnot. So, um, but yeah, I'm going to get more videos out there for y'all. Uh, all kinds of different games, I'm sure. Not just Call of Duty, because I know a lot of y'all don't want to don't want to see really uh, AW, because AW is not the best, you know, so... Anyways, that's going to do it for today's video. Thank y'all so much for watching. I really hope y'all enjoyed the video. Please leave a thumbs up, comment, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Um, and I'll be streaming in the afternoon sometime. Well, by the time you're watching this video, I'll, I'm probably already going to be streaming. But um, it's going to be like around 6 o'clock Central Time uh, in the USA time or whatever you want to call it. It's Central Time. But that's going to do it for today's video. Until next time, I'll see y'all later. Thank y'all so much for watching.